In this video, we are going to be making the very bitter compound sucrose octaacetate. This synthesis requires 2 grams of sucrose, which is just common table sugar, 1 gram of anhydrous sodium acetate, which is acting as our catalyst during this reaction, and 10 milliliters of acetic anhydride. The acetic anhydride was prepared specifically for this synthesis through the reaction of acetyl chloride with rigorously dried sodium acetate. The 1 gram of sodium acetate, 2 grams of sucrose, and 10 milliliters of acetic anhydride were combined in a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The reaction was heated at reflux for one hour. After cooling, the reaction mixture was quenched in a beaker containing 50 grams of ice topped up to 100 milliliters with distilled water. The mixture was stirred until the product became a congealed, syrupy mass that stuck to the side of the beaker. The water from the initial quenching bath was then poured off and 100 milliliters of water was added to the flask and the syrup was then kneaded to thoroughly wash it. This was done an additional two times. The product was dissolved in 10 milliliters of ethanol on a hot water bath. This product was extremely difficult to crystallize out and it much preferred to be a syrup rather than nice crystals. It took multiple attempts over multiple days to finally get this product to crystallize. What ended up working was taking it out of the freezer still in its syrupy form and putting it in the fridge and then I just left it there for two days because I had basically given up on trying to get this to crystallize. However, when I came back and checked on it, it had formed nice crystals and I could break it up and filter it properly. After filtering, I washed the product once with 5 milliliters of cold ethanol and left it out to air dry. The melting point for the product was found to be around 70 degrees Celsius. However, melting point is not a great determiner of purity for this product as it has two crystal forms, one which melts at around 69 degrees Celsius and another which melts at around 89 degrees Celsius and the lower melting point form slowly converts into the higher melting point form so depending on the conversion rate which I'm not sure of uh, the results may vary on melting point. The yield from this reaction was 1.6 grams or 40 percent. The product is intensely bitter and the few willing test subjects I had were completely repulsed by it. So now you can make a very bitter compound without needing to sacrifice any lube in a lidocaine extraction.